How much does it cost to convert a van into a camper van? That's what I want to talk about in this video, so stay tuned. My name is Jamie, Nomadic Rev. If you're new to my channel, I love the nomadic lifestyle, and this is my 2005 Chrysler Town & Country that I have converted into a camper van. Um, I'm not going to do a tour in this video, but I will put a link up here uh, if you haven't seen it and you want to watch uh, the actual tour of the video. So today I thought I would talk about um, how you can convert uh, a van... Uh, doesn't really matter what kind, uh, minivan or con a different type of van that you might have, into a camper van for less than $500. Um, there is so many different ways that you can get out and begin to use a van uh, as a place to stay and uh, hunker down for the night. So I'm going to put um links to all of the the most important things that I think you need when you get started with um converting a van or using a van for a camper. Um so number 1, and this is all again under $500. Um I just I'm going to use some items on Amazon if you shop around at garage sales or thrift stores, you may be able to get something cheaper. But the first um item that I have on my list is a cot. And the cot that I'm going to show you in this video or in the, is, that's in the link of this video I should say is uh the one that I use. I get I've gotten a lot of questions about that. And right as at the making of this video, um it's about $59 for that cot. Now um, I'm not going to include memory foam. I actually do have a three or four inch thick memory foam mattress uh, for my cot, but it does come with a, a you know a foam mattress. So that's kind of a luxury item. Uh, this video is really designed to be about getting started with this lifestyle with as little bit of money as possible. The next thing that I would say that you're going to need is uh, a sleeping bag. And obviously you can use blankets that you may have at your home, so you don't have to do a sleeping bag, but just keep in mind that there are sleeping bags out there that are designed for colder weather. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but where I'm filming this right now in Minnesota, we have snow on the ground. And so if you're gonna do some overnight camping in the winter, a lot of times to spend a little bit more money, uh, it's worth it to buy a cold weather sleeping bag. And the one that I'm going to put in this video is uh, $62, um, so it's not too bad uh, if you want to invest in one of those. And they'll last for years. You know, you won't have to worry about replacing it. Um, the next thing that I actually have are um, that I use in my van. Again, I'm not doing a video tour in this van. As you can actually tell, my back end is cleared out from my um, last ice fishing trip. Um, but I like having a drawer system. Uh, and so I have a, a three drawer system that I use that runs about $45 online. The nice thing about having those drawers is that you can take all of your um, items that you're going to use in the van when you go camping um, and you can keep them in there. So what I like about it is when I'm done or if I'm gonna use the van for something else. In fact, well, I bring the, the drawers with me when I go ice fishing in case I cook out there because a lot of my kitchen stuff is in there. Um, but it's just nice to have, I like having a drawer system that gets, gives you enough space to get uh, what I ha what I would consider your kitchen and bathroom items. That's what I have in mind. So that's gonna be uh, about um, $45. Um, the next thing is uh, a stove. Uh, again, um, there's a lot of different types of camping stoves out there. 
I'm just talking about a very simple, inexpensive camping stove. Um, the one that I'm going to put in the link of this, the description of this video is about $44. It's a two burner stove. Um, it works really well. And it is nice to maybe have a two burner stove in case you're a lot of times, a lot of what a lot of people make in a camper van is maybe like spaghetti. So you can have one pot for boiling water and one pot for sauce. Um, that, that one's going to run you about $44. Um, the next item I have are dishes. Now, even though I don't live in my van full time and I have dishes in my house, I still ch chose to go out and buy, um, specific dishes and stuff for my van. And I went to a thrift store or a, a, maybe even garage sales sometimes, but we have a lot of thrift stores right near me here in Minnesota. So it's not hard for me to go out and find um, some dishes that I can use. Um, and you don't need a lot, really. I mean, it's it's a, it's not a lot of, of dishes that you'll need. So I put down maybe 20 to $30. I don't have a link for that just because, again, I got mine used. Um, the next thing is uh, a heater. And a lot of people obviously like the propane Mr. Buddy heaters. I I have an off-brand one. I can't remember what mine is called. Um, but it basically, you know, does the same thing. Again, that would be for those colder nights um, where, you know, or you where you might be somewhere in the mountains or somewhere where it's just nice to have uh, a heater. Uh, that one was $74. Again, I'll put a, a link in the description of this video to all of this. Um... The next thing I have is uh, some sort of light system. So you can get flashlights for really cheap. I usually have several different la uh, flashlights available in my van. Um, a lot of them don't even have batteries in them yet. They're just extras. Um, the lights that I have in here now, um, I shared in, a, in another video, but um, see if you can see them when they go on. probably hard to tell or they may need to be charged but i bought these these are a set of lights that i have right now that have a little solar panel and you can you know use that to recharge i think that one was like 20 or 30 bucks i also have another one that's like you charge it with a usb and it's rechargeable i really like that one it's led um i think that one was about 25 dollars um and so that that was you know pretty affordable um then the last thing <clears throat> that i personally would recommend is reflectix for the windows um it's nice to you know have those you can make them uh really easily um i have another video here on my channel of how i made mine i think i went and got like a larger roll of the reflectix from like a home goods store and I want to say it was like $40, uh, maybe something along those lines. Um, and then I just cut it to size. And, and I actually used um, just some an old sheet, I think, that I had, a black sheet. And I just, you know, uh, connected it to one side of the, of the Reflectic so it was black on the outside. So, um, Again, these are probably what I would consider, you know, as I was writing these things out, these are kind of what I would consider the most essential things that you would need if you have a currently have a van and you just want to explore the camper van option. I'm, I really like having a minivan. Um, there's a lot of uh, van dwellers on YouTube who like minivans with the stow and go seating because they actually take the seats out and then can use uh, the storage below. I, it's it's a great feature the other thing that's nice about a minivan is that when you're stealth camping you don't really stand out um, people don't tend to see you so um uh those are kind of that's kind of my recommendation for uh the cheapest way to convert a, a, a van into a camper van and to use when you go out and go camping there's probably some other things that that other people may have some suggestions so if you do and you're a part of this community please leave them in the comments below and uh, help other people out. 
And uh, just wanted to share that video with you today. Hope you find it helpful. Uh, if you have any other uh, questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you like videos like this, be sure and subscribe and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.